Konnichiwa everyone, today I've got a really fun simple little bit of tomfoolery for you. This is a little random bit of stainless steel rod stock I found, just kind of rolling around my bench here. I thought I'd make something cool out of it. Today we're going to make a scribe. Now if you don't know what a scribe is, basically it's just a pointed little metal stick with a handle on it that you use to scribe wood, scribe metal. I don't know if this is going to be hard enough to scribe metal, but scribing wood is always a good thing. So let's get started. So our first order of business is we have to get a nice sharp point on this guy here. Now I don't have a lathe, but I found an easy way to make that happen, even if you've got a little teeny tiny workshop with not a whole lot of space. So you're only going to need a couple of things to make this happen. You need a bastard mill file. You need a vise. I have here Mr. Wilton, the trusty shop king. You need a good strong magnet. This one is of the Neo peanut butter variety to catch all the shavings. You need yourself a good drill. Now take your stock and you simply chuck it up in your drill, like so. You can't have your stock too long or else you're going to bend it by putting pressure on it, but just keep it short, you should be fine. So your next order of business is to make sure you're actually rotating your stock in the right direction. Remember files only cut on the push stroke, so this one only cuts in this direction. So just make sure you're rotating in the opposite direction of that, so you want it rotating so that it actually cuts. Then you simply get it lined up. Focus. There we go. Now we are cooking. Check out that point on that guy. Drill rotating keeps this nice and conical, and the file does all the work for us. Daggummit. Focus! Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's get this thing mounted in a handle. The one thing you should do too, once you've got your point made, is you should add a little teeny tiny groove. It's really tough to see that. There we go. A little tiny groove to the opposite end that's going to be inside your handle. And the reason you do this is so that it can actually sink into the wood just a little bit. I'm going to taper off these edges here just so it has a little bit of a grip. So I'm not just relying on the strength of the glue alone to hold it in place. There we go. Kind of rough, but you know what? That's okay. Alright, so you want this thing to be kind of straight. You don't, It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but straight-ish. So... Aha! Perfect. So we got our handle drilled. We've got our pin here. Let's see how good of a fit we got. Oh yeah! Check that out. Not bad at all. Not quite dead square. Of course this piece of wood isn't really dead square either, but we're going to square it up in a bit. So just a little bit of personal preference here, but I'm going to go ahead and set this in the wood actually. As you can see, it's not perfectly square with that. The reason I'm doing this is so that once this is in there, I can actually cut the handle so that it will kind of negate some of that uh, little chintzy awkwardness we got going on there. You don't have to do it this way. If you've drilled it perfectly square, that's perfectly fine. Just depends on what you want to do. The way you set the pin in this thing is you simply set it on a scrap piece of wood. You don't want to hammer this point here or else you're going to blunt it and that kind of defeats the purpose. That's, that's in there right now. now. I'm just going to secure that with a little tiny bit of super glue and then we should be good to go. Now we're cooking. Glue. We're going to let that sit for a bit and then we'll get to cutting. All right, so sometime later, mini cuts, much filing is what we're left with. That grain is just awesome. Love it. And now we're at the best part of every project adding finish. say I am very happy about the way this turned out. That grain is just too cool. Love that quilted maple. This is a pretty cool little tool. I'm pretty happy with the overall result. You don't have to use any particular wood. You can use whatever you have on hand. You can also use whatever kind of metal you want. If you want to scribe metal I would recommend something a little bit harder but it'll get the job done if you need it to. Anyway guys thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sayonara.